Hi everyone, how are you all? And uh, again, I am back with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be good for uh, the pregnant ladies especially. This is a very special edition for pregnant ladies because I am stitching a pregnancy top for uh, those who uh, just wanted to wear for the pregnancy time period. Or you can also use this top this design or this pattern for a beach area because summer is here and we all are going to update our wardrobe so you can use the same pattern for a very nice and easy breezy kind of dress or you all you have to do is just wrap a strap around or belt around that area and it's going to be fitted around the waistline if you want to but it's entirely up to you so let me show you my scarf this is the finished scarf all four sides are finished on this scarf and you can see the colors are really bold and nice and the pattern is really bold as well so if you don't have the same pattern same if you don't have the same color scarves or your scarf is not big enough all you have to do is just combine the colors or patterns and you can use the printed for the back and plain fabric for the front and now i am going to lay my fabric uh, on four folds and this is how it's supposed to look because my fabric is being used, my scarf's being used, it has some wrinkles and it's stretchy from some area. So I'm gonna go ahead and I will just iron my fabric to straighten up and make it flat. Then all I'm going to use is old loose t-shirt. Then you go ahead, use your husband or boyfriend uh, t-shirt because definitely they're going to be loose or if you don't have anything like that uh, then you can just add more inches around the chest waist and uh, hip area that's it uh, and i'm going to show you in a bit how you can add those numbers first i folded my t-shirt and laid flat on top of my scarf and i am going to use extra five inches uh, for the length the reason why i am using a extra length in this because when you have a pregnant belly then your top is automatically going upwards no matter what you do so uh, i am stitching this for my sister and she's not really comfortable wearing um, top which shows her belly this is the second reason i am making this top longer then all you have to do is add width around the chest area once you add width around your chest and waist area then it's gonna be easy easy around everywhere because i don't want to have a tight around the belly area it's gonna it has to be easy breezy top and from the armhole corner mark four or five inches to make it like this shape i marked five inches for me because i wanted to have like a very free style pattern and around the waist area and chest area i marked two two inches extra but if you're using your fitted t-shirt then you might want to add like three or three and a half inches if you want to wear a short sleeves then that's this pattern is perfect for you but if you want to wear a long sleeves version of this top then you have to definitely add more fabric but if you're not adding any fabric this should be it just cut your fabric according to your measurements and that's it just join the pieces from the shoulder from the sides And for the neckline, I just want to mention you one thing because our fabric is not stretchy. So I have we have to change a neckline width and length a little bit more. So for the width for front and back, I am going to 
mark on three and a half inches and for the depth of the back is going to be three inches and for the front it's five to six inches it's up to you however you are comfortable just go ahead mark on it and then just cut round shape around the that area one thing i want to mention is my sister she asked for the full length sleeves so i have to add more fabric around this area and as you can see my sleeves has already been finished but once i'm going to attach it the raw fabric has to be inside there i'm going to show you the trick i will use it but if you are not going to use this uh, if you don't want the full sleeves then all you have to do is just sew the side seams and shoulder seams and finish off the neckline with bias strip or the lace whatever you want to attach and you're done to add the length of the sleeves i am attaching eight inch of fabric there and if you have if you want to use these leftover pieces you can use it for another project you can definitely make a small newborn top out of it but uh, i'm just gonna uh, forget this for now i made the skirt out of those small pieces for my daughter's doll if you are on my instagram then you can definitely go ahead and see there i um i already posted that picture over there anyways i'm um, just we are just gonna go back and uh, finish off our top so this is the shoulder seams you are uh, looking at it right now and i am going to attach this fabric piece here if you are not going to extend your sleeves you can just skip this step and you don't have to do anything else first just finish off the side seams and you're done but i am going to finish off and i want you to make sure that i don't have any raw edges on the other side so this is how i fold it i fold it half inch outside like uh right on right side of the fabric and then i'm gonna make a straight stitch and that's it And as you can see from the back, there is no uh, raw edges over there. And my fabric is stitched clean inside out. Let me finish my side seams and then I'm gonna go ahead and show how it looks. And this is how it looks like. This is really, really easy breezy uh, top. And uh, trust me, preg for pregnant ladies, this is this kind of pattern. Uh, you can make it on any type of fabric plain fabric or you can use your old scarves old shirts and uh, or you can wear it on the beach on the doctor's appointment with the jeans or with the tights anything like that and they look really 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 nice if you want you to add more length it would look like a dress and here is the back of the dress i just added a ribbon at the back because uh, if my sister she wanted to have like a little tighter waist line if you wanted to show your belly then you can just add this kind of belt or you can use any other belt if you have any existing belt from your old clothes or something you can just wrap around your waistline and it will look really 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 cool and that's it for at this video and i am just going to show you the details of this top and uh, please go ahead watch until end and you will understand how this top look anyways uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for stopping by and please 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 subscribe to my channel and please uh, share this video and i as earlier i told you you can make this kind of top combining two different fabrics two different patterns mix and match colors uh, you can use the printed and plain even after pregnancy you can still use this top um, on the beach right on the beach area and that's about it for this video and uh, i will talk to you guys in my next video until then take care you all Bye now.